Hello. <laughs> I've got to film this intro really quickly because I'm about to head out the door, but today I am going to lunch actually with my family and then we're also going to the mall for a little bit and then also going to a bookstore. So today I really wanted to film a bookstore vlog because it has been well over a year since I have set foot in a bookstore. I honestly think the last time I went to a bookstore was maybe November or October 2019. So it's been a really long time and I love filming bookstore vlogs as well. I love taking you all along with me when I go to the bookstore and then sharing the books I bought if I buy any. So I'm really excited to do that today. Don't mind the wet hair, I just showered. Um, we're about to like drive for a little while anyway so my hair can dry before we actually get there. I'm planning on buying like manga today because I've really been wanting to read some manga. I mentioned that in my last video. And I'm so excited because I hope they have a decent collection. I'm just going to Barnes & Noble so it's nothing like fancy or anything um, but I'm still so excited because I love bookstores and it's been so long. So so long. Also did quickly want to clarify I am fully vaccinated. My whole family is fully vaccinated. That's why I'm actually able to finally go out uh, which is incredible and I'm so lucky and so grateful that we actually get to do that now um, because I've spent the entirety of lockdown going literally nowhere. I went to the grocery store like maybe twice um, and like Target one time. It's pretty much it. I didn't go anywhere. Uh, but now that I am fully vaccinated, I'm finally gonna go to the bookstore. So let's spend the day together going to the bookstore and then hopefully if I buy anything, um, I'll do a little mini haul at the end. back home. I have some books. I bought some books. Not all of these all at once, but I did buy some books. <laughs> all right. Hello, everyone. So it's actually the next day, um, but I got home like really late last night and did not have energy to film a mini book haul for you all and talk about my day and everything I got. So instead I went to sleep, but it's a new day. I've got some energy and I'm going to talk about all the books that I bought yesterday as well as some books that I bought like a couple weeks ago as well that I haven't shared so I may as well just make this like a book haul. Yeah, I had a really great day yesterday. Like I said, that was the first time I've set foot in a bookstore in well over a year and I just am so so happy that I finally got to go to a bookstore and that we got to go out and like I haven't been to the mall in well over a year either and um, I haven't eaten in a restaurant in over a year so it was a lot of really new experiences um, but again just appreciative and grateful that I am vaccinated and able to do that now and that it's safe. So yeah, it was all around a great day. I hope you enjoyed the little clips. I didn't film like too much because I was spending the day with my family so I didn't want to like interrupt that by spending all of my time filming. I wanted to be as present as I could. But now we finally move on to all of the books that I bought. So um, this is the stack that I have. Like I said, I did not buy all of these at Barnes & Noble yesterday. I only bought three of them. I'm going to start off with the ones that I bought before um, yesterday, before I went to Barnes & Noble. So these are all books that I actually bought like a couple weeks ago. Like I said, I just ordered these online um, and you've seen, I think, the majority of them because I've mentioned them in like the books I've read recently videos that I've talked about uh, because I 
bought them because I had already read them. I listened to the audiobook and then I wanted the physical copy because I liked the book so much. First up, I have this gorgeous copy of On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vong, one of my favorite books I have read this year and one of my favorite books I have ever read. I talked about this in my recent reads video and I'm just so in love with it and I just really, really liked this cover. I think it's so pretty. I think this is the UK paperback. Yeah, this is the UK cover. I love the book. I love the cover. Highly recommend. Next up, I have this copy of Goodbye Again by Johnny Sun. Again, I really just like this cover. I love the artwork on it with the plants on the back and it's just like super simple. It's a nice like hardcover without a dust jacket. I really like hardcovers without dust jackets. They're some of my favorite types of like book covers. I really enjoyed this book too. It was a really great read and definitely recommend it as well if you're looking for some nonfiction. And then the next book I got is The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. This is a collection of short stories of the saints in the Grisha world. So it just tells you each of their backstory and then it has like artwork and stuff in it as well if I can find one. There we go. It has some artwork in here too of some of the saints um, and this one's just really pretty. Just a nice addition to my Grisha collection since I love that series so much and I like knowing more about the world. This was also pretty fun to read too. So yeah, I really wanted this especially because it was just so pretty and I did enjoy reading it. And then the last of the books that I had bought a little while ago is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the King of Scars series which is the sequel to the Grisha trilogy. I have yet to read King of Scars and I obviously haven't read Rule of Wolves either, um, but I do plan to read them, especially now that I've finished rereading the Grisha trilogy. I plan to reread Six of Crows and then I think I'm going to start reading these. A lot of you have asked me for a reading vlog for these, so I definitely plan to do that as well. But yeah, I'm just glad to have this so that I can marathon that series, update you all on my thoughts, because I'm really curious to know what I'm going to think. I feel like everyone, everyone was spoiling it for me a little bit, so like, I already kind of know some things. Like, I put some things together because you guys spoiled it for me, so... I'm a little bit upset, okay? <laughs> but I will still be doing a reading vlog and I am very excited to see what I think of these. All right, and then finally, we get into my mini Barnes & Noble haul from yesterday. I went to Barnes & Noble in the first place because I desperately wanted some manga. I started reading manga last month and I mentioned this in my last video that um, I read Horimiya volume one and I really enjoyed it. I watched the whole anime. I loved the anime as well. And I've been watching anime for a very long time, but I never got into reading like either the manga adaptation of an anime or or the manga that the anime is based off of and I recently just like wanted to start reading some manga because I was in the mood for it and I wanted to try something that I hadn't tried before so I got some recommendations from a friend started out with some of those and then I asked you all for some recommendations and you all gave me a ton of great recommendations and I wanted to buy all of them but I do not want to buy them all before I read them like I would rather read them either through the library or like as an ebook or something like that so that I don't just like have a giant manga collection of books that I don't even like that much. So I want to read them first like digitally in some way or from a library or something like that um, before I buy like too many of them but I did buy three because um, two of these I've watched the anime, I'm in love with the anime and I just wanted to read the manga and then the other one was just kind of like an impulse new purchase that a lot of you had recommended to me and I feel like I would probably really like and um, yeah so let's get into them. First up I picked up Your Lie in April volume one. I love this anime. I started watching this, I posted about this on my Instagram story a while ago, but I started watching this thinking that this was just like some fun, cute romance anime about two people who love music and play the violin and the piano. That's not what it is. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. So, so sad. And it made me sob. I loved this show though. It was so good. I don't know how to explain how like emotional it made me, not just because the actual like events that happen are sad, but specifically because of like the love of music that is like such a major theme in this story and like the way that music makes these two characters feel and their attachment to it. That part of it to me was like the best part of the entire anime and like the part that made me the most emotional, which you might find weird because other like genuinely like objectively sad things happen. Like those made me sad. This aspect of it made me like really, really emotional. And that's why I like it so much. They had like maybe seven or eight of the volumes, but I only got the first one, obviously, Impulse Control. And also um, maybe I won't like the manga as much as I like the anime. So um, I did want to just try out reading the first one since I already know I like the story. And even if I like don't want to continue with it, I know that like I still have this on my shelf as a reminder of like a series I like anyway. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this and see if I like it as much as the show. All right, and then the next one I picked up is the one I am most excited about. This is the reason I went to Barnes & Noble in the first place. This is why I was like, I need to read manga. Like I just, I need to read manga 
manga because I need this story specifically. I need more of it like right now. And that is none other than Fruits Basket. Listen, this is my new absolute love. I have been so obsessed with the Fruits Basket reboot, like the 2019 one, that's the one I've been watching. I, I don't know what to tell you, I'm so in love with it. I'm on my second rewatch, I'm watching it with my sister now because I'm like forcing her to watch it with me because I was like, you have to watch this. I need someone to talk to about this show because like, I'm dying. <laughs> I've spent an excessive amount of time on TikTok and obviously I ended up on anime TikTok and people have so many great recommendations and I have like a huge watch list of things I want to watch. And then for some reason a few weeks ago I was like I'm gonna try out Fruits Basket because I've seen a lot of people talk about it and I don't really know anything about it. I just finished Your Lie in April. I wanted another romance anime because that was what I was in the mood for. And I was like this looks like some fun cute fluffy little show. It's not a fun cute fluffy little show. I mean it is but it's not. <laughs> it is pure depression like constantly it's so sad <laughs> it is happy it is funny and it is fun but it is also literally just like trauma like childhood trauma like that's what this whole show is about like that's that's it it's so sad and it was not what i was expecting i was literally sitting there having like a good time i was like whoa they turn into animals like what is this i didn't even know that was part of the plot and then out of nowhere it was just like here take like excessive amounts of childhood trauma and depression. That's just what the entire series is. And I love it. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but like the story, the core of the story itself, the messaging of the story, the characters, their relationships, I would die for them. I'm in love. This is literally one of my new favorite series of all time. I've mentioned multiple times that Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my favorite anime of all time. Fruits Basket is my number two. I'm not kidding. It's my number two. It was like Attack on Titan for a little bit, but Attack on Titan's like way down here now. This is number two. So yeah, um, once I started watching the show, and I am completely caught up, so you cannot spoil it for me, but once I started the show, I was like, I need more of this. Like, I need more of these characters. I need to know every single thing about them. So this this is the reason I wanted to read manga in the first place. And a lot of you recommended it to me too, even though you didn't know I had um, already seen the show, a lot of you were like, I think you'd like Fruits Basket. You're right, I love Fruits Basket. It is my new favorite thing. <laughs> so yes, I got volume one and I'm very, very excited to read this. I'm gonna probably pick up the other ones whenever I can and then continue on with it. It'll probably be pretty soon because like, I know I'm gonna wanna like marathon these. Cause I just like, I need more of it. I hate waiting a week for each episode to come out. It's like slowly killing me because I binged the rest of the series and now I just have to wait for these and it's it's painful but I just I love it so much also the person who was checking me out at Barnes and Noble was talking to me about the manga that I was getting and they were like have you read this one have you watched the show and I was like yes I am obsessed and they were like have you seen the newest episode and we were like talking about manga and it was so so nice and they were recommending like new ones to me and like other anime to watch and I was like I just finished watching that yesterday and it, it was just so nice because like I haven't had anyone to talk to about the manga and anime that I've been watching so yeah it was just really nice to have that conversation with also a straight like having conversations with strangers is not a thing I've done in over a year. So that was also really fun. But yeah, again, uh, if you want to get into manga and you want to get into anime, if you want to watch a new anime, if you're looking for like a romance anime that is also very like found family and like just sad, watch this and then read this. I mean, technically I can't recommend the manga because I haven't read it. So I don't know if the manga is good, but I've heard that the 2019 adaptation is very faithful to the original manga. So I think I feel fairly safe in recommending this. It, oh, it's so good. Please watch it. Please watch it. Someone talk to me about Fruits Basket because like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right, and then finally, the last manga that I picked up is the one that was just purely based off of your recommendations. Um, I got a lot of different recommendations and I definitely plan on reading some of those too and watching some of the anime you recommended for me. But this one I saw recommendations for a lot and it seemed like the type of thing I was in the mood to read most right now. And that is uh, Wotakoi, uh, Love is Hard for Otaku. This is a like more adult, romance anime based on what I've been told. Also, the person who was checking me out at Barnes & Noble told me that as well. They were like, Fruits Basket is more targeted towards like a slightly younger audience, but this one is definitely more adult and it's like nice to read them back to back. And I was like, perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> I genuinely don't know anything about this other than it's about these two people who I'm assuming are the main characters who fall in love and um, they work in like the same office or something like that. And then they both have like some secret or like they're like really 
nerdy or something like that. That's kind of how people explained it to me. I really didn't look into it very much. That's all I know. I don't really want to know anything else, but I'm very, very excited to read it because it seems like it's going to be really fun. I also did not know that this had an anime adaptation, but the person from Barnes & Noble, once again, told me this. Um, they, they gave me so much information. It was wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, apparently it has an anime adaptation as well. So I'll probably read this and then watch the anime. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about this one as well. I'm so excited about all of these. I am just so happy to finally have some manga to read. Um, will my shelves turn into like manga shelves? Will I have an entire manga shelf at some point? Maybe. I can see it happening. But yeah, very excited to read these and then share my thoughts with you all. But yeah, that's it for my little mini book haul and my little book shopping vlog. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Like I mentioned, I know I didn't film very much of myself while I was out or even while I was at Barnes & Noble. It was just kind of hard to film in there because there weren't very many people there, which usually would make it easier. But because of COVID and stuff, um, we couldn't stay in a place for too long. So I just like tried to just film little clips here and there and then um, get what I needed and then head out just to like respect um, everybody's face and everything. But nonetheless, I hope that it was enjoyable for you all to watch and um, hopefully I can film some more bookstore vlogs. I definitely have plans to hang out with some friends and go to some bookstores over the summer as well. So um, I can definitely film some of that too and I do plan to do that. So I'm very, very excited about all of that and all that's to come. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was at least nice to just see the books that I picked up. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you again all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you very dearly and I will see you in my next video. Bye.